So I just wanted to provide a quick video to show you guys what the KO2 265-17s look like and what type of clearance you guys uh, look for. A lot of the videos I saw on YouTube uh, had these and I just got uh, done taking them from the actual, uh, from the install from the tire store with absolutely zero rubbing. And that was the key is what I was looking for on YouTube is to really understand how much clearance I have. And as you can see here, there's absolutely, there's plenty. I did a full range of motion test for you guys. Um, and I just think that this is absolutely the best look to have uh, on a 2019 Tacoma with zero lift. This was factory uh, to take the uh, 265 16s off of the Tacoma and replace them with the KO2s. Now, I, as you can see, I did replace them with the FJ Cruiser uh, Toyota 4Runner uh, TRD uh, matte black wheels. And I'll place a link in the description for you guys. But look at the amount of clearance. I was really looking through YouTube to try to find the amount of actual clearance that I have. And trust me, guys, I just got back from taking a full range of motion test on this. Um, and there was absolutely zero rubbing. I was not into cutting my wheel wells. I was not into removing the factory mud flaps. I didn't want to do any modifications whatsoever. And based on some of the comment forums on some of the YouTube videos out there uh, that were provided for informational, I think a lot of people were trying to stuff way too big. I saw a lot of people trying to stuff 285s into these wheel wells. And quite frankly, I'm just gonna save you a lot of time and heartache. They do not fit. These 265 BF Goodrich uh, KO2s work just fine on these 17s uh, with absolutely no rubbing, no modification, full range of motion, absolutely fantastic. And I absolutely do feel the one inch of lift uh, as I drive the truck. It certainly does give it a much meaner profile that's for sure when I replaced, I've still got the stock rims actually uh, in the back of my truck. But I wanted to throw this down really, really quick, give you guys the down and dirty, what you actually need is to understand that these 265 KO2 BF Goodrich on a 17 inch rim absolutely works and it works exactly the way that I expected it to work and no more. Uh, again, I was not interested in doing any type of lift or modification. And I especially was not in the camp to justify trimming away at what is a $45,000 truck. And I think a lot of you guys will appreciate me posting this to YouTube and giving you the update and actually showing you what the real talk is here um, on the uh, new 17s and the KO2 BF Goodrich. Guys, take it easy and be well.